All right, it's the Wine Wolf. Back again for a little bit more fun. A little different this time. Not really doing a review, but I am going to be drinking wine. But what we're doing today is um, sanitizing the bottles so I can bottle my white wine Pinot Gris, which is ready to go. That's not what I'm drinking. I'm drinking something different. See, when you work, you got to reward yourself a little bit. So I'm rewarding myself with some Epiphany 2018 inspiration. Inspiration. So I can feel inspired while I work. So what is this baby? It's from Epiphany, a great winery up in Santa Barbara County. This is 50% Grenache Blanc, 23% Roussan, 21% Viognier, and 6% Marsan. Sounds like a very good uh, wine to give me a little inspiration while I work. Motivate me a little bit. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay, let's give it a moment. All right, I'm ready to work. These are cleaned, scrubbed, and, you know, making sure that there's no residue or anything there. But we still got to sanitize it because when I put my wine in here, I want to make sure there's no bacteria, no yeast, no nothing that's going to ruin it. So I have this potassium metabisulfite solution here that will kill all of that. It's the same sulfite that we put in wine to kill any bugs you don't want in there. And I just put this bad boy on here and you got to do a little, a little in and out. So press down once, it shoots the solution up twice, three. Oh yeah, it feels so good. It's going to sanitize it and then I'll just put it there. As it drips out, it'll sanitize the bottle and any excess will drip out over the next day and then it'll be ready to bottle. Three pumps is what I like to do. One is probably enough. I like three to make sure I get every inch of the bottle. And we just put it there, and it's good to go. Not much to it. But every few bottles or so, we have to take, we have to take a break, you know. I, so we get some exercise this way. It's like doing a pull-up. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you can do this. One arm, oh yeah, pull-ups. Getting some exercise. A little modified pull-up is what I call it. Then we got to do our curl. You got to have the right form. That's the first rep. Oh, that's a nice honeysuckle. Mmm, a lot of honey in there. Honeycomb. And then, you know, after you get to your third or fourth curl, you got to do this. These are the type of curl exercises you just want to keep doing. So you go for another. I'm inspired. Back to work. This is what I will be bottling tomorrow, my Pinot Gris. It's been sitting here about 56 degrees since I last filtered it about a week ago, just settling, preparing the bottle. Look how clear that is. It's like you can see the other side. And it is smelling and tasting fantastic. This is going to be a really good wine, and we will bottle it tomorrow. All right, so we're on to uh, bottling the Pinot Gris. We got our auto siphon set up, and the wine's ready to go. So it's going to come through the siphon and go into the bottle. Then I take it from the bottle, put it in the corker, put the cork in. Good to go. Let's get our cork ready. So now get a nice close up of it. Filling up quite nicely. Following the auto siphon. Yeah, look how nice and clear that is. It's going to kind of. Just follow it along. Alrighty, it's hit the appropriate level. We get it to stop flowing, move it to this guy, change its place, let that one start, put it to the corker, and voila. Nice and corked. A little bit of space, but just the right amount. Just put it in the spring low, lock it in place. Voila. Good to go. As the next bottle's going, let's get a little assembly line here. I got my corks pre sanitized, ready to go. Okay, the finished product. Everything's bottled. There's always a a little bit left over. You can see very beautiful light golden color to it. Mm, it's 
Smells like apple pineapple. Very fresh. Ooh, a little bit of rose petals there. Definitely uh, pineapple apples on the palate. A nice zing in the background. Like, oh, it's good. Second sip a little smoother as it opens up. So we're gonna leave this in bottle for about one to two months to rest. You know, there's something called bottle shock. You put it in the bottle, there's a little shock to the wine. So you just gotta let rest for at least a month is uh, what most recommendations are. Um, so I'll probably see where it's at in a month, but I'm thinking it's gonna be ready to drink in one to two months. Ready for prime time. Late spring and summer. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers. <laughs>